This video will be a review of the Thread Stalker, but will also cover how to search for a color in the Thread's Colors dialog box. You can search for a specific color to use in a design, and then change that part of the design. With the Thread Stalker open in the search box, you can type in a specific code of a color, and the software will search for that code. You can also type in a color name or a general color name, such as red. You've got to make sure your code numbers that you're using correspond to the thread charts selected. If I hold the Alt key down and select the color in Color Film, and then double click on the color chip in my threads, that color has now been changed to the 1902 Isochord color. You can repeat to change each of the colors in the design if you wish. Just remember to hold the Alt key to select part of the group in Color Film and then double click on the color swatch. To restore your entire list, swipe across the color code entered and press delete and that will restore all the colors. If you expand the thread stalker by clicking on the second icon in the title bar, you have not only code names and color chips, you also have the brand name as well as the color names. If you want to search for a general color name or a specific color name, just type in a word and the software will find any of the colors that are in the Isochord brand that have the word green in them. Then if I want to change the green in my design, I hold down the Alt key and select the green color chip in Color Film and then double click on the color chip that color has now been changed to the color I selected. If I don't like the change, I can click Undo to restore the original color. If I want to restore the list, I swipe across the word green and press Delete to bring all the colors back. I can also search and assign colors in the Thread Colors dialog box. That's opened again with a right click on the Thread's icon. I can select a color in the top part of the dialog box and enter a color code in the lower search box and then press enter. And that color is now assigned to the one that was selected. It automatically selects the next color. So if I wanted to search by a color name, I can type in a word, press enter, and the color is assigned to that green color. Now, nothing has changed yet until I click OK. So you can search by code or by name in this dialog box. Notice that there are asterisks by some of the colors. The asterisks mean that that color is used in the design. The next color to be changed is selected in the upper part of the dialog box. If I want to use a code name again, I can swipe across the name, enter the code name, by pressing enter, that number will be selected and the original color is replaced with the new color. To activate all those changes, I'll click OK and the colors are updated. If I do not like the changes, I can click undo and get my original colors back. So whether or not you use the Threads Docker or the Threads Colors dialog box, you can search and assign individual thread colors to individual objects in the design.